Hey neighbors and friends. This is Christine Espinoza. I'm with Helene's team at Remax Wine Properties. And we've been doing community uh, video series videos which showcase businesses, people, places in our community um, that you may have driven by every day but don't know much about. So we like to give you a sneak peek into what's going on in our community. And today I'm at the Arabian Public Library and interviewing the lead librarian, Stacy Williamson. Thanks for uh, letting me invade your space today. Absolutely. So I didn't realize this, um, and Stacy was saying a lot of people, they see librarians and they just think, oh, they hired some lady to come here and sit down and check out books, and that's completely not the case. To be a lead librarian, in fact, you have to have a master's degree, and you do a lot more than just check out books, right? Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do as the lead librarian? Sure, absolutely. So here at the library, we do everything from programs for the little ones, our zero to two crowd, um, all the way up through our zero to five preschoolers. We've got lots of science programs for our grade school kiddos after school. We're getting ready to bring virtual reality on board for our teens coming up in January 2019. That's cool, what is that all about, so, virtual reality? Virtual reality gaming is something that we're working to get up and running so that kids can come here and experience wow. that level of tech. My kids love tech. that. Yeah, so not only do we do great programs, and we have them for adults too, don't worry, things like downloadables and downloadable workshops. We have all kinds of, um, other things that we offer, of course, as far as movies and books and book discussion clubs for, um, we have a couple of great book discussion clubs here as well. And so on a day-to-day -day basis, we do all kinds of programs. We answer all kinds of great questions, whether you love books, whether you love movies, or are interested in some sort of reference question, because we can help with reference too. If you've got a question and you don't really know how to find the answer for it, we're experts in locating information as well. That's good to know. They, they have so many programs and what I didn't know about is uh, if you have a child in school here at Desert Canyon Elementary or Middle School, they have after school help for homework. That's true. We Tell offer. us about that. That's so awesome. Yeah, so one of the teachers over at Desert Canyon Middle School comes on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at about 3.30 and she assists students with homework help in any subject and she's great with all grades she is happy to work with everyone from third grade up through 12th grade and so it's a free program all of our programs everything we offer is free so we welcome the community <coughs> to come out and take advantage and of that. what are the hours for that after school it's 3 30 to 5 30 typically but of course okay. she's a teacher and so if there's a school emergency once in a while she has to take care of the school first okay but generally 3 30 to 5 30. so for parents if you're working also you can have your child walk home it's literally right across the street you can have your, not walk home. You can have your child walk to the library after school and sit here for an hour and a half, get their homework done, and have a, a excellent qualified teacher helping them with their homework. That is an awesome service, and it's free. Yes, I did not know about that. I'm paying for tutors. That <laughs> sounds really <laughs> nice. Um, so programs for adults, for children. Um, one thing that I didn't know until I came here getting a book for my kids is that they offer all these downloadables online and I guess there's a, a lot of people that do that right do you want to tell us about the Absolutely. downloadable program so downloadables of course people are reading books in all kinds of formats these days there it's a very popular format and Scottsdale Public Library is part of a consortium with um, Maricopa County, uh, the library systems here. And so we have, our Overdrive collection is one of the largest in the country. So we have many, many books available. And Overdrive isn't our only format either. We actually have seven different downloadable formats. So whether you're interested in audio books, whether you're interested in you know reading a print book on your iPad or Kindle, or whether you'd like to get magazines, we have, an, huge magazine collection where the magazines look just as though you were opening a magazine and that's available too through our downloadable. Oh, I didn't know that RB either. Digital. So is it up to date magazines? Like I could yes. get the most current issue yes. of us and just flip yes. through it. Oh, yes. that's pretty cool. Yes, And they're all on the downloadable page of our, uh, of our library site. Okay. So that's where you find. Those. See, I'm buying audiobooks all the time online 
through iTunes or Audible and I didn't even think about the fact I could just go online here, download an audiobook. It's free. Yes. Does it go away after a couple of weeks? After it your does. First, okay. it but you know, you're away. done with the book, so right. and you don't have great. to remember to return it because it automatically comes off of your account. So there's no such oh thing my gosh. as okay. when it comes to the downloadable. That is so major because I am the worst. When Blockbuster was out, I would <laughs> end up buying the movies because I would forget to return them. And even with the books with the kids, I forget. So you're saying when you download something, it just disappears off of your Correct. your device, so you never get late fees. Oh, That's I true. love that. Yes. I did not know that. Yes. So you learn something new every day. You really do. Um, okay, let's see. What I was talking to Stacy before we came here because Stacy's been a librarian at many libraries here in Scottsdale, and I was asking her what makes this library unique and one thing you mentioned was the the actual size of the library right yes I particularly enjoy this library because of the size of the space I think it's a great size for a community library it's just big enough that we can offer great services great materials uh, great spaces and programs but it's small enough that it really does feel like a neighborhood community library and I absolutely love being part of the community here. It does feel cozy and intimate. You're not going to get lost in here. You're not going to lose your kid in here. Mm -hmm. it, it does feel really warm. Yes. And um, and it is a, our neighborhood library and you see a difference in um, just the neighborhood and the community. You were saying that someone turned in an iPad that was left here? Yeah, that's true. People who come to this library are fantastic as far as being neighborly to one another, I think, so. Well, good job, yeah. neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, us. That's true. <laughs> that's awesome. So um, we're gonna go in the library here in a minute, but before we do, because I'm gonna have, we're gonna pan around so you can see how beautiful this library is. I mean, it really, I've never seen anything like it. Tell us about the architecture and some things about the building itself. All right, so this building was designed by Richard and Bauer, and it was part of, or at least the construction costs had to do with a bond that Scott still passed in 2000. It was built okay. in 2007. And this building, I believe, is an architectural showpiece. I know that we get a lot of architectural tours who come through here. Architectural students come in all the time. And I love the building because it's reminiscent of a slot canyon. And Now, I didn't know what a slot canyon was. Yes. So Antelope Canyon, if you're familiar with it, it's like one of those canyons where you're on the bottom of the canyon looking up and you can see the light above you and that kind of thing and so when you're first walking into our courtyard you'll notice these high walls and then you walk in and it opens up into a courtyard space and this building is um, LEED so that's um, the Oh goodness, that's the one I'm going to forget. It's a special designation. Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. We are silver certified in that because this building passes um, in key areas of sustainability. So this it's is a kind big deal. To the environment as well. Yes, but one of the things that I love about the building, as far as the way that it looks, is the steel here because the steel that you may see behind us, um, it changes over time, just like you know, a canyon would, just mm -hmm. like wind and rain change the face of rock, wind and rain will change the face of the steel over time. And so I just absolutely love the, the red of it, how it changes color, and then just how it leads us to such fantastic views There's of so the many peekaboo views there of are. the mountains, which is pretty. Do you want to pan around? So I have my, uh, my cameraman slash mortgage lender Duke pile behind the camera. Not only can he film you, he can get you a loan for your house. Okay, that was like my commercial. Right? Um, so let's, um, you can show the, the steel walls and check it out and then we'll walk into the library here in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you in school? <laughs> She might be homeschool. We have a lot of homeschoolers oh, who really? come here too. Yeah, you want me to open the door God for us? God bless the parents that homeschool. <laughs> I could not do that. <laughs> We're not going to talk too much in here because we have to be quiet. <laughs> you, you can talk, but talk close to the air. All right. You so won't get in trouble for yeah, talking. That's true. <laughs> 
So right now we're walking to the adult area of the library. As you can see, we stand behind him and you can talk and that okay. way he can hear. As you can see, we have lots of computers that are available for the public to use. We have printing, faxing, and scanning services as well. Here's our desk where you can get assistance. And in case you're curious, we've got this frog and fish tank for the kiddos. The kids love to meet our frogs and our fish. Oh, cute. Yeah, they're stars of the show over here at Arabian Library. After school, this area gets so busy that chairs are hard to find. Right now, you'll notice that we've got lots of open space and we are very busy after school library so that is when to come if you want to see the crowds. This here is our book sale area and our book sale, the funds go to support our summer reading programs and other programs for kids. So we're happy to take donations, but we also sell fantastic books. Cute things like backpacks for the kiddos right here. So these all benefit the library. And then over here we've got our kids section. Right now we just had one of our story times get out. So today we had our tiny tots, which is for our zero to two audience. Oh yeah, we have an early literacy area in here too for the littler kids. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I used to do this at um, Barnes and Noble, the story time with the kids. Mine yes. are too little now, they won't sit through story time, but it's good to know if you have little ones, bring them here for story time. Yes. And all of the all these dates and schedules are on the website, right? Yes, www.scottsdalelibrary.org, or you can pick up one of the Scottsdale Life. We are part of with the senior centers in Parks and Rec. You find all of our information if you prefer print in this publication here, but also scottsdalelibrary.org. Okay, let's go outside. All right. This is a spot. We want to stand here because this is a very special um, art piece. Yes. So, Stacy, you want to tell us about the art so piece? It's a piece of public art in Scottsdale. Scottsdale's great about supporting its public arts. This piece here is Desert Tracery, and it was done by Nori Sato. She also did Cactus Mirage, which you can find out front of the McDowell Mountain Aquatic Center. So oh, okay. yes. if you're familiar with that piece, she designed this one as well. And one of the things I like about this one is it changes color throughout the day. And so the sun comes through here. Yes. And wherever the sun hits, it's going to change the color. Yes, it's fantastic. To give you an idea of what it can look like, this picture here was taken in the morning time, and that's actually this piece right here in the morning sunlight. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and this is one of our library cards as well. And you can get a library card for free. All you need is your driver's license, right? Yes, photo ID and something with your current address as long as you live in Maricopa County. And we do have different designs besides this one for you I've to seen choose those, from. I, I forget my card and I get a new one every time. Yeah. I'm the worst. But they're nice about it. We are. Because you just give your ID and they'll let you check out books and they'll give you a new card. Yep, for free. <laughs> for free. That's the key. Yes. Um, I have to say, too, I, I do pictures every year, um, you know, photos for holiday cards. And this is such a great photo spot. That's true. We get wedding photos. We get graduation oh, really? photos. We get so many pictures taken through here. In fact, car dealerships have come in before we open and driven high price automobiles into... They can fit through there? Is yes. That, that yes. little walkway? Yes. Wow. So we have all kinds of um, meaning to all kinds of different people in this community so see and we're it's right here we're so lucky to have 
cool places like this yes, right are. in our neighborhood. Yes. So if you come in here, you can always ask for um, Stacy, the lead librarian, yes. and she can help you. And Stacy, is there anything else that you want to tell everybody before we go about the library? I just feel so fortunate to be able to serve the community in Scottsdale. Scottsdale really supports its libraries, and so one of my absolute favorite things about working here is just being part of this community. So that's something I'd like to say is just thank you to the community for allowing us to be part of this space here. Well, it's great that we have people like you who are passionate about what you do and care about what's going on here. Yeah, so thank you thank for you. what you do for us and for letting us come in today. Yeah, my pleasure. And um, thanks for watching our video today. If you're a resident or um, around our community and have a business and you would like us to feature you on one of our community video series videos, please reach out to me. I'm Christine Espinosa with Remax Fine Properties on Helene's team. And of course, if you wanna buy a house or sell your house, give us a call at 480-563-3333. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the week.